So before some days, I have released a project that is employee management system. It was a very basic project where uh, we were able to create the employee. Then we we were able to create, create the client project. We were able to add uh, employees who are working into that project. So just the basic thing. Now, this is that live project. Uh, sorry, means locally I have run that project. So this is the dashboard. In employee page, we are able to see the employees, whatever the employees we have. Why wow, it's taking time. Okay. Then in the projects, we will be able to see the projects. And in the project employee, we will be able to add a particular employee to the particular project. Okay. Why employee page is not working? Fine. So uh, I will check this. But now in this video, we are going to see how we can implement Prime NG with this project. So this is very basic project without using any third party library. But with this, we are going to implement Prime NG. So what I was telling, like we will try to implement Prime NG in this project. So currently this project is very simple. We haven't to use any external library or nothing. It's very uh, pure angular and using HTML and CSS only we have done it. Now we will see like how or what are the components are there in Prime NG, which we can use it over here. So let me show you. So this is an existing project, all the code I have pushed. Now we will start, uh, we will implement the Prime NG over here. So now, just like Prime NG, there are AG grid, then material is also a library. So many libraries are there, which we can use in Angular. Okay. So Prime NG, let's say if we talk about the market area, let's say it will cover at least 60 to 70% because all the almost components are free. Okay. AG grid is paid version. Again, we have Sync Fusion that is also paid, but Prime NG has the component which are almost free. So you can use it. So that's why it is covering most of the market. And if you are preparing, obviously they will be asking you like, what are the third party libraries you are aware? So as I said, like 60 to 70% market is using uh, Prime NG. So obviously after one and two company, you are going to face question on the Prime NG, like have you used or not? They will not go into deep, but at least you should be aware. Okay. Now, so first this is an external library, which so we need to install it. So this is the command npm install Prime NG. Let's copy and let's open a new terminal. And in new terminal, we will just install it. Click on terminal. In one terminal, I have my project running. So over here, let's paste and enter. So what it will do is it will install the Prime NG. And once installation is done, it will add entry to the package.json. Let's see. It will add the entry over package.json. And once it is installed, uh, it will install that package in, into our node module folder. Currently, it is uh, node model folder is removed. So because this process is going on, let's just give it some time. So now you can see it has installed the packages and it has added entry over here, Prime NG. Got it? So we have successfully installed the Prime NG. Now, from Angular 17, all the components are standalone. We don't have app model. In previous version, where you we used to have we used to have the app model, we used to import all the component, all the model of Prime NG into app model, but now we don't have it. Okay. Now, so let's see what we can use from the Prime NG. So once you install the Prime NG, next thing is you need to add the CSS of it. So in your Angular.json, you need to add these entries. So let's copy and let's go to our Angular.json. And in the style section, you need to add it. Let's add dot slash dot slash. Whenever you make changes to the angular.json, again, you need to rerun your application. Okay, so let's just do that. Let's say, what is this error? Okay, we can ignore this. So once you install the prime engine, next thing in angular.json, you need to add the entries. Okay, now. So if we see the components, so here you can see we have the component. So what are the components or the functionality or what we can say reusable things we have in Angular that uh, that we can use, it's over here. So some form components are over here. So from form component, first thing which we are going to use, if we see our project, so 
in the employee form, if we click on add, so here we have a drop down. Now, instead of this normal drop down, so we have a normal drop down. In normal drop down, we cannot have a what we can say filter thing, right? So instead of doing that, we will use a drop down from our Prime NG. Okay. So here you can see we have drop down. Let's click over here. Now, if we have to use the drop down from the prime ng, this is the import what we need to import. So let's copy now in our employee component. So in employee component, we are going to use the drop down. So in the employee component dot ts, we need to add the import. Pages employee dot ts, we need to add the import at the top. Okay. So this error I'm getting, just ignore it because I have again installed it. So that's why I'm uh, npm installed error is there, but you won't get it. Okay. So we have imp we have imported our drop down module. Then now Prime NG is a well documented library. Library, whatever the components are there, how you have to use it, what are the input, what are the output, everything they will specify. You just uh, need to check the documentation and you do like that. So you can see this is the basic drop down. It will come like this. Okay, let's see if we can show the drop down like this. Let's copy. Now, in my HTML, we have existing drop down. So, where it is? Yeah. So, instead of this normal HTML drop down, we will try to use this. Okay, let me just format it. Now, here you can see this is a drop down. So, now Options. So like what are the options you want to show into the drop down means data that you need to pass it over here. So we had a signal. So over here we will pass the signal. NG model. So this NG model we will bind it over here. Now, so in our drop down, we have this select department, child department. So let me just see what department we have got in child department. So what was there? Yeah. So if we select the sample. So here you can see in response, what type of data we get? Child department ID, department name. So this is what we need to display. So this field you need to specify over here. Just like option label, we have option key also. Let's see the documentation because we need to get the value also. So where is option key? Let's search option. E or let's search E. Or value will be there. Let's say value. Yeah. Label and value are the two different option. Option value. So see option label we have used. Now we need to provide the option value also. Now from my array, what is the option? What I need to provide it over here. So this is the key child department ID. So this will go over here. Now let's comment this. Let's just save and check if we are able to see the prime ng drop down. Why it is unused? Okay, sorry. We have imported, but we didn't add in the import array. Let's add it. Let's save. Now, if everything is perfect, we will be able to see the drop down from the prime ng. If we click on add new, so here you can see drop down is coming, but we are actually getting one error. See, every time I click, we are getting console error. Let's check that error. So you can see we are able to see some animation error. Okay. So what it is saying, either browser import animation module or something you should have to import. Okay. So this module we need to add. So let's check if we act, if we can add it over here. Add and let's say if we suggest the import. It's not suggesting the import. Now instead of doing it over here, we have app config.json. So here we can say provide why animation is not coming. I think we need to install that provide uh, animation pa uh, animation package. Okay, let's just so let's try to Google this error. Then it will suggest us what we need to do. We need to install the package for animation. Let's 
browser animation module is there. Let's try to add this. First, we will try to our component. Let's add it. Yeah, it is there. Let's try it over here. Okay. Now, let's try to save it and check it again. Because that drop down, once you click, that panel get open. For that, it needs the animation. So if we don't have it, it was throwing the error. Browser animation providers from the browser module may have already been loaded. Let's check if we are able to navigate. No, we are getting that error. What is this error? So I'm also doing this from the first time. So these are the issues you are also going to face. So let's search it together. Lazy model. So I think we have got app config now. So there we need to do something. Uh, browser animation in Angular 17. Let's see. Someone might have faced the issue. So someone might have posted somewhere. Mantis. How to use animation in Angular standalone component. Let's see. Yeah, this was this is what I was talking. So let's try to add this into our app config.ts. Provide animation. Let's see if it suggests import. Yes. Okay. Now we can remove this from over here. We don't need to do in every component. On the project level, we have done it. Okay. Let's try now. So now it should work fine. So see, no result found. Why it is saying no result found? Okay. Sorry. On the drop down change, it will come. So once I select the sample, so here you can see we are able to see the drop down. But UI is not looking proper. Let's see if the CSS we added in the, what do we say, our, uh, where it is. No, PrimeNG CSS are coming, but why it is not looking, why it is looking like this? Let's see. We don't need to do anything extra, but why our drop down is not, see, their drop down is looking very fine. Let's see if there are any class they have added. drop down nothing they are adding but how their drop down is looking very neat and clean let's just try to add this class on our drop down also let's save Still, it's not looking the same, but why is it? Let's see what classes they here it is getting added. And let's see if that same classes is not getting on our element or what. See, on this first view, they are having the drop down class. Okay. Let's see in our case. Inspect. We drop down. Then this view. So see, in our case, that class is not getting added. So somewhere I think in angular.json, whatever we have added now, that classes, they are not adding. Let's say directly like this. Let's save and again, we need to compile. Let's try. Because on their website, they have suggested like this, but I have added this dot slash, but let's see. Let's reload on click of add sample still it is looking the same how come i'm not missing anything we have added the import mm -hmm. okay let it be for now once i get the solution i will add it to the youtube description so you will also able to find it or this code is also i'm going to push now what we were talking about, we need to filter it. Okay. So let's say, let's search filter. Okay. So see, this is their example. So we get the filter like this. So let's say these are the two properties which we need to add. Okay. So these two properties, I will add it on this drop down filter true. And what uh, with, with 
because in our drop down it's an array of object but out of that with what property you need to filter so we are going to filter with our department name so the department name will go over here let's try if we get the filter let's say sample so by default you can see we have got technical and non-technical so let's see if i search with non so you can see it is filtering And, oh, and so you can see we are able to filter. Now let's say again, we need the cross icon. I uh, means show clear button. So you can see one more property is there, show clear. So if we add that, we will get the clear button also in the search box. Okay, let's see. Sample, we should have added it over here. No, we are not getting. But why it's not behaving same as it should behave? Something is not correct drop down empty message see this classes are classes are present over here but it is not looking as same i'm also not sure why it is behaving like this and one more uh we can add class we have added this right ui fluid class will be there something which will add full width to that component no it's not taking full width let's try form control because we are using bootstrap and inside bootstrap we are using this but it is behaving wrong Hmm. Okay, let it be. Don't we won't we don't want to waste the time, but I will figure it out and I will post it in the description like what I did to resolve this issue. So we have successfully implemented one drop down over here. Okay. Now let's see what else we can do. So drop down we have seen. Now just like drop down, we have one auto complete also. So auto complete is also there where like it once you uh, type suggesting, let's say india so you can see some may some pre-default menu it is suggesting so this is auto complete this also you can do so normally we use auto complete when we are going to fetch the data from the api or uh, once you start starts typing and you need to get the search data from the api so in that case we need to go the auto complete okay right now i don't have an api like that so but we can do that like okay then checkbox is there so what are the basic elements are there that also we can use so see p checkbox okay and multiple is also there we can group it also then some dynamics means uh, you can create an array again what do we have disable checkbox is also there okay checkbox is a very basic one now float label so this is something new so if you see this is your normal text box but if I click on it, so label getting at the top. So same kind of behavior we have in the material also, right? So now this also we can use. Let's try to use it. So you can see this is the structure what we need to use. First, we need to import this module. So let's do that into instead of employee, let's use project now. So now in the project component, I have added it and this will go into our import statement. Now, how do we use it? We just need to this copy code. Let's go to project. Okay. And here we don't have the form. Let's undo the code. Let's go to project employee. Over here, we can add it. Let's copy. Paste. This we have to add to the import array. Let's copy this selector. Now, so here we have project ID, project employee ID, assigned date is there. So now inside this call, I'm going to put it and this text box, I will move inside this. Okay. And label will be assigned date. So let's copy and let's paste it over here. Let's remove this. Let's save all and let's check if it is behaving same or not. Oh, we got one error. Date pipe. Why date pipe? In the project component, 
let's add input. Yeah, let's see now. So project employee. So here you can see it is working, but we need proper space to do that. Instead of, uh, we just need to change our UI design a little bit. So instead of uh, keeping it over here, what we can do, we will create one more row called well, and inside that I will put it. And by default, I will add some space at the top, PT2. Let's save and check now. But why it is okay? We have a placeholder also. We need to remove the placeholder. No, placeholder is also not there. I think some CSS is not correct. See, it is behaving okay because of date. Let's say input of text. Now it should behave same. Yeah. So see, now it is looking. If I click, then my label is going at the top. Got it? So how it is behaving in the prime is same like it is behaving. Okay. Then what else we can do? Now in my employee over here, we have this checkbox. Now, no, this is a normal way. We use the checkbox. Instead of checkbox, we can use the switch also. So in angle or in radio, but in prime ng, we have switch box also. Okay, where it is the switch box, input switch. Okay. So this is how we do, we can use it. So with normal, instead of normal text box, we can use this also. Okay. Now let's use it. Let me just correct the UI first. Okay. Now this role, instead of role, I think it is for active. So this checkbox is there now. Let's move that at the end. Over here. Now, instead of this normal text box, we will try to use our switch box, uh, input switch. So if you have to use the input switch, again, use this import. So whatever the component you are going to use in your component, you need to import their imports. Okay. Let's add it over here. I'm just going through some random, uh, what do we say, components, but almost are same because it's very well documented. You, sh you will be able to easily understand it also. Okay. But just to cover, I'm just covering. Okay. Here we need to bind form controller instead of ng model let's say is active let's save and check so now you can see we got it okay so if you follow just the documentation of it you will be able to do it exactly how it is behaving over here same thing you will build you will be able to do it okay we have list box also see like this so many things are there which are actually getting used in while working with the actual project. With control, you can multi select also. So, let's say if you have to enable multi selection, so see the multiple property, you just need to make it set to true. So, then you will be able to select multiple. Got it? So, everything is very properly explained over here. Now, let's move to the next. We I wanted to use where it is the date. So project in project component, we have a input type date. So this is a very normal calendar browser calendar. Instead of this, I want to use prime ng calendar. So let's check calendar second component. Okay. So see their component looks like this. So we have to import this. So let's copy and it will be like project form. So let's go into this import. Let's add it to the import array. Then this is the selector. It's like, you know how we create reusable component just like that. They have a set of reusable component and you are directly using it. What are the inputs they need? You just need to pass it. So where is the input type date is there. So here, instead of this, we will use this. So form controller name, it will go over here. Let's save, save and let's check if we are able to see the calendar. So see, we are able to see the calendar, but it's look very big. I think we are missing some CSS. This is what, you know, while working, 
let me just see one more time so we have added the theme and the prime ng css that's it we don't have to add anything else why it is looking very big okay no worries i will find it then i will post it fine so we are able to use the calendar also now if you are using a normal date picker means input type date there is no there is no configuration that look, uh, you can disable some date or something but if you are using any library you have so many things let's say i need to disable the previous date so what i can do where is the min date min date okay so this i can use so min date is equal to min date now you so see over here what you can see min date is equal to min date but how what is min date from where it is going to kill, uh, come so here you can see the code also toggle full code okay so this is html code so let's copy let's paste it over here where is the component this okay so over here i am pasting this now we need the variable also min date so how they have created let's click on to ts so we can see so see min date they have created let's do like that min date they have created and for the min date we just need to send the current date where it is min date so see and this value we can initialize in the constructor let's just save and check if it is disabling some dates or not okay so now if we open so now you can see previous dates are disabled. I won't be able to select. Got it? Max date also you can set. Whatever the date you said, you need to pass the date. Before that, it will disable. Okay. Right now we have set two, date, two days date. So that's why all the previous date it has disabled. Like that, next date also we can disable. Everything we can do that. Again, uh, what is that? I wanted show button bar. So here you can see we we have got today and the clear button so this is also possible so if we see our calendar right now we don't have any button but now if we add this property then mm -hmm. it will shows the buttons also let's just add it quickly so now here you can see we got today and clear button also if we say clear it got cleared got it so like this so many things are there Let's see what else we can do. Again, chips is also there. This chip is also very useful. See, enter, enter like this. Okay. So these are very standard and very realistic components are there, which we have to use while working on the industrial project. That's why everyone, all industry project is somehow using any library, either it is material prime engine or some library it, will, it is going to use. Syncfusion, again, Zoro is also there. So, so many libraries are, so, are also there. We can, we have a button also. Their button is also there. Now, important component is like table. Let's try to use the table. So when we say table, this is our default table. Okay, let's go to project or let's go to employee. This is our normal table. What if we have to show the pagination, filtering, sorting? We can do that also. We have to write so much of custom code. Again, we have to cover so many scenarios also. But instead of doing that, we can use the library, right? So we will use the we will use our uh, prime ng table so see the basic code is like that so let's copy this first of all we need to import the table module so let's copy and in project component we will add it let's add it over here table module will go into the import statement okay now with very basic thing i will try so this is very basic okay so let's copy let's go to our dot ts so this is our table instead of that we are using our prime ng table okay now here whatever the array you have that you need to pass over here in the value okay then you have control on the th also so let's copy this th let's paste it over here then t body let's copy all these three last one also now we can get rid of this table let's save what it is saying item okay sorry we need to use pro product over here whatever the name so here we can say item let's save 
what is the error over here, Diaz? Let's say. Okay, dollar index. We don't have dollar index now. For now, let me just remove this. Let's save. Yeah, compiled successfully. So if we go to the project, so you can see this is the basic table. Oh, I wanted to explain the in the employee. Let's me do that because we wanted to implement the pagination. Let it be over here also. But main thing I wanted to do this in the employee component because we have so many records over here. In the project, we don't have any so many records. Okay, so over here, let's pass the employee list. It will be over here. Let's copy the TH. Then TD also. Okay, let's get rid of this normal table. And we need to add the import also. So let's copy the import. An employee component, we need to add it. This will go over here. Let's save and check it. Uh, dollar index we need to remove. Let's save. So now you can see in the employee, we got the basic table. Again, I like I said, now CSS somehow not working or somewhere. Let me just close it and let's try one more time. Let's add dot slash. Let's check if it is fetching the CSS. Or let's try to move this at the top. Let's run. Still, it is not applying some of the classes. Let me just try to Google it properly. So I tried everything, whatever was there. Might be problem with like latest version we have installed. So try to up use the below version. Okay, so in previous uh, one of the project, I have used 17.15. So there it was working fine. Might be like Angular team is updating its version in every six months, but Prime Engine cannot keep it, keep that, keep it up with Angular team, right? So they are lagging behind. Might be issue with there, okay? So for now, just ignore the part. Remaining things like implementation will be same. But if you try to implement this with the older version now, let's say 16 or something, it will work properly, okay? So let's try now. Let me just run it one more time. So we were seeing the table. So in employee table, the basic implementation was there. What is happening? Style.css, let me just remove, I was trying something. Let's just remove this. Let's just save all. Okay. So basic table is there. Let's say with this basic table, I need to add uh, sorting. Okay. So let's try sorting now. So over here, this was the basic implementation. After that, if we have to create columns of the dynamics, what you can do, you can create an array. So if you put over here in .ts, what they have done, they have created an array of column. And this, we can bind it. Instead of making it static thing, you can do it a dynamic also. Okay. Same. What do we need? Pagination. So if we click on page,
Isso. Where is P icon field? Not filtering also dt2 all event dot filter content who does not exist. Let's try putting in a single port like this.
in the HTML, we were getting the error. So instead of reading that event.target.value over here, what I did, I have, I have in, instead of doing that filter over here, what I did, I have created this function. And in this function, and a data type will be table here. Fine. Then in that function, as HTML input dot value and whatever the string value we get. 